So please bend your knees up. So thinking back to the first two lessons, these are all pieces of a lesson I call options, or Russell Delman, my mentor, calls options. So we did the rotation with the head and the eyes and the shoulders. And see what you can remember of that. See if you can just a little bit play with taking your head from side to side. Just notice how far it goes very easily. Really feeling for the quality of movement, not the quantity. And just notice which way you prefer. And then maybe play with taking your eyes from side to side. You could take your head with your eyes. You could let your head and eyes go opposite. You could focus on a point of the ceiling. Just playing a little bit. If you're a person who spends a lot of time in front of the computer, sometimes just doing this head and eyes movement can break up that, the tension that starts to get created in the neck and the back, focusing and thinking and concentrating. And rest your head and eyes. Do you remember how we rolled the shoulders from side to side? Give yourself a big bear hug so that your elbows aren't crossed in the middle, but if you hold on to one shoulder and then bring the other arm completely underneath the first arm. So you're kind of holding the shoulder kind of lower down. And then you let the opposite hand pull one shoulder to the side. And if it's too hard to hold on to your shoulders, always modify. You can just hold on to your elbows. We don't want to increase any discomfort. The brain's already well aware of you forcing things that increase discomfort. So be creative. Find a way to roll your shoulders from side to side while breathing, while keeping your tongue and your jaw soft. Notice what your head wants to do. Notice where your eyes want to go. So now we have three pieces of what we call differentiation in the Feldenkrais method. So we've got your shoulders, your head, and your eyes. And when we start taking things in opposite directions, we call that differentiation. So just play with taking your head maybe opposite your shoulders or maybe you take your head and your shoulders the same direction and take your eyes. Just be curious, be playful. One of the very first things we do in life after we have been birthed is we suckle. It was an amazing thing to me after giving birth to my child and having him naturally look for that nourishment. And it's, it's a reflex, so it wasn't an intelligence other than the intelligence of our human system and the reflexes there. But so at birth, our orientation is our mouth, our nose, our smell, our eyes and our ears. So wherever the bottle or the breast is, the whole body goes that direction. Whether it's left or right, up or down. And then as we grow older, we learn to, you know, often in sports and different things, we learn to be able to run one direction while looking the other direction. High-level athletes, this comes incredibly naturally for 
And then as we get even older, we sort of forget some of those more sophisticated movement skills. Or maybe we never acquired them. And we get in this pattern that can create a certain level of rigidity of our eyes and our head and our shoulders and our trunk all going one way or the other. So all of these movements are really lovely. If you're feeling really overly burdened or contained or focused or driven or your mind's just got you, just lying down or sitting and doing any of these differentiation movements can not only bring you back into the moment, but start to remind your brain of all the options, the possibilities available to you. So just let your arms down, let everything rest for a moment. And just lightly check back with the original movement of your head from side to side. Just noticing if anything of the quality has changed as you begin to play a little bit and explore the possibilities of unwinding the patterns. And then let's bring your focus down to your knees. So if they're not already bent, bend your knees up. Make sure your feet are well supported on the ground. Nice connection through the soles of your feet. And just begin to take your knees side to side only as far as as perfectly comfortable and safe for you. So taking your knees from side to side causes the pressure to roll from side to side through your feet. So just feel how the pressure changes through the soles of your feet. Nice and slow and soft. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. And also feeling how the pressure shifts on the back of your pelvis as your pelvis rolls just a little bit left and right. And if your pelvis is rolling a little bit left and right, then that movement may be being transferred into your lower spine, the lumbar vertebrae of which there are five. So see if you can even imagine that as your knees go one way and the pelvis begins to go and the lowest vertebrae and the next and the next as if the movement is just traveling up your spine. And just noticing how far can you easily feel the movement. Does it stop somewhere in the middle can you imagine it traveling up higher to in between your shoulder blades, maybe even up into your neck? And then just begin to add the rolling of your head with your knees. Noticing where your eyes go. Do they follow your head? And then letting yourself be playful. Can one part of those three, knees, head, eyes, go the opposite direction? So you might take your head and knees in the same way and take your eyes the opposite direction. You might take your eyes the same direction as your knees and take your head the opposite direction. Every once in a while you might notice that you're holding your breath. Such a natural thing that we do when we start getting really focused and trying a little harder than might be necessary. Just 
and then just pause in the middle. And then uh, do your, your safe, comfortable version of your bear hug. Hand to shoulder if you're able. Maybe your hands go a little lower onto your elbows. If that's still uncomfortable, elbow to elbow, then you could just place your hands together kind of in a prayer position so that you're just sort of moving your arms from side to side. So always be innovative to find a way that works for you. So now you can take your shoulders, your knees, your head, your eyes, just kind of play around with this full, the full possibility of differentiating all these parts of your body from side to side. You might take everything together to one side and then pick just one to go the opposite way. This is an excellent movement to practice before golf, hint, hint because one of the worst things you can do in golf is have your head and eyes follow your shoulders when you're swinging. But if you keep your head down and your eyes down while your shoulders and your pelvis follow the ball, you'll be much more successful, I have learned. Notice how you're breathing. Are you getting so caught up in the movements that you've kind of forgotten? You start to, we start to have these goals, whatever they are, even with these silly little Feldenkrais movements. So let the goal go and just be with the experience. And if you haven't switched or played around with a different version of differentiation, please do so. And how much of yourself can you feel when there's attention to your head and your eyes, your shoulders, your knees, but can you also feel your pelvis still rolling or the soles of your feet? We transition local, global, local, global. And that ability then to transition in life is so helpful there's a local problem, right? Something comes at us. And maybe we breathe spontaneously or we remind ourselves to breathe, drop into our body and our senses so that we can think more globally, more creatively, out of the box. Let everything rest. Let your arms go, let your legs go. Let your whole self go into the floor. And just gently, for the one last time, roll your head a little bit left and right. Just noticing. And like we did when we were rocking our knees from side to side, noticing how far you could feel the rotation through your pelvis and up your spine. You might just notice as you turn your head left and right how far down your spine that simple rotation influences. Good. and then just let it go. And take your time. Whenever you're ready, roll to your side, come up to sitting, find your way to standing, and just kind of walk around and notice the influences of this lesson in how you would be in life, how you would walk and see your world. Thank you.